So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the House of Trestles in San Clemente, and the man who built and founded the House of Trestles is right next to me, Joshua Host. Thanks for having us in, Josh. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Thanks for coming down. What a freaking cool place you got here. This Thank is you. amazing. I love this. How did you come up with this concept? One, I've always really enjoyed uh, the benefit that hostels bring as far as to travelers. Uh, folks that are coming to hostels, uh, they're coming to be able to have an experience. And uh, it's predominantly uh, more a European um, tradition as far as staying in hostels than it is in the U.S. Right. Uh, they've been around in the U.S. since the 50s, but it was initially founded in Germany. And it just seemed like there was a, a big gap in San Clemente. And um, I love San Clemente. It's paradise to me. I grew up here. And, um, you know, I just felt like that uh, surfers that were making their pilgrimage down here were looking for that experience and we want to be able to provide it for them. You know, it's interesting, we've decided actually to spend uh, almost no money on marketing. Our philosophy is that we spend all the mar money on the experience, the guest experience. We initially opened, it was slow, but what it happens is folks then go from here and they go up to LA um, to stay in a hostel in LA or they go down to San Diego. And because we have, I would say 70% of our guests are international. Mm -hmm. And so they're coming out to experience California or experience the US um, or, you know, California is just part of their trip as they move south or north. Inevitably, they go down to the next hostel and then they tell people about their experience. We met one of the interesting folks here staying at the House of Trestles. Joe, you're from Alaska, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. And you're going to cover what, uh, what's going on right now that you're covering. So I'm a feminist anthropologist. I specialize in women's sports around the world. I'm here for the Trestles uh, Swatch Pro Tournament because mm -hmm. uh, I'm working on a book on women in surfing. Uh, okay. We, we were just interviewing Rachel Tilly down, and you've heard of her. Yeah, yeah. So she's one of the women that I'm going to be talking about in my book. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Well, you're coming all the way from Alaska. People in Alaska know about Rachel Tilly. Wow. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I do. I don't know if I can say all Alaskans do. <laughs> I'm here with Mark. And Mark, where are you from? I'm from Holland. Oh, okay. What city in Holland? Well, actually, it's it's more to the to the south, though. It's it's really si small city. You don't small. even talk about. Haven't it. Haven't even heard about it. <laughs> yes, right. I, I don't even heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been you've never born there. <laughs> and he hasn't even heard about it. All right. Now, how did you hear about this place in particular, the House of Trestles? How did, how did you find out about it? Well, I, I checked it out on, on the internet. It's like the Trestles, the beach Trestles. Mm -hmm. It's like a very good surf spot. We have a big tournament going on this weekend. Yes. It's like on on the I tour. Heard, I heard it. I heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's cool. But for me, it's just jumping in the water right. and get, catching some waves. Right. You're not a world-class uh, surfer, doesn't matter, right? No, no, it doesn't matter. Just have fun. Just have fun with this it. Is what's, this is what it's all about. And if people are better, just go ahead and Fine. Yeah. Catch, a, catch a bigger wave. It's really not about that so much. It's just about really having fun and kind of the, just the group environment of the whole thing. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's and of course, there are some girls involved too. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah, because you know they're surfing, and I'm with uh, with girls on the beach. So <laughs> can't be so bad. I, I can complain. I know I'm not a good surfer. Just go ahead, catch the wave. I did not build this thing alone. It, this has been with countless people who have stepped outside the box and and worked to make this happen. So. Uh, the, you know, the city staff have been remarkable to work with. I'd really like to thank our sponsors, Lost Surfboards, Rainbow, Vizsla, and Catch Surf uh, for being able to, to kind of partner with us in a way to create this intimate experience for folks. And um, as far as the art is concerned, um, we, you know, I, I, I realize that, you know, we're going to have a vacancy. Like with any hospitality, you're going to have a vacancy. And so I was like, well, what could we do as far as to like be able to get back to the community? And I had a friend that went to France and had an artist residency. And it was just such a transformative experience for her. I looked to see if there was anything related to street art because I think that street artists are, are so incredibly daring and they give so much to the world without getting a lot in return. They go out and put pieces up that, you know, expose the undercurrent uh, at tremendous risk to them. And, you know, so I, I, I looked to see if there was a residency that catered to street artists and there wasn't. And so, you know, it's, it seemed to be that it was critical we put something together. And so, so far we've had uh, four artists uh, that have stayed with us from uh, between 30 to 90 days uh, from Norway, Romania, Portugal, and Belgium. And they've just been incredible humans. Uh, we organize murals in LA, Orange County, and San Diego. It's a nonprofit 501c3 called Street Artists in Residence. And so it's headquartered here at House of Trestles. And so while they're here, they're also uh, painting inside and outside at House of Trestles. 
And so it's created this amazing fabric. The most recent show we had was LA Residency. So for 30 days, 30 of the most prolific street artists in LA came and painted this place inside and out for a free show. Wow. No money charged, nothing for sale. It was just completely to just expose folks to art. And, uh, and it was incredible. I and mean, we just had, we had people from, you know, months old to in their 90s come down and just have, uh, you know, an amazing time together. And for some of our viewers, if they want to know how to find out more information, what would they do? Where would they go? You would just go to uh, houseoftrestles.com um, or you can go to our House of Trestles Instagram page uh, and uh, check it out there. And uh, we have a lot of community-based events as well, too, where we do community cleanups, jam sessions, um, you know, tea and meditation, yoga. So there's a lot of ways uh, that we'd love to interact uh, with uh, folks around the community. And that's the ultimate goal at the end of the day is to actually, one, uh, to expose international travelers to San Clemente surf culture, and two, uh, to have the community be able to interact with, uh, with worldly travelers.